All right, guys. Trade night number three. As you guys can see in the background, they are uh, all of our guys are moving stuff around, getting ready for tonight. Don't really know what to expect. We've had a couple of these. We didn't expect the second one to be as popular as the first one. It was actually even more busier. Um, there's some arts in the alley stuff going on in Grove City tonight, so they've shut down some of the streets. So we're not sure how that's going to affect things. Um, there's a little tiny show in Columbus tomorrow, so there's that going on. Ohio State plays at home tomorrow. There's just a lot that could play into this. Um, so again, really don't have any idea what to expect. We have promoted this one. I feel like more than what we've promoted in the past. We had video content. We had. Uh, couple uh, IG posts on multiple pages. So we've promoted it a lot, but really don't have any idea what to expect, but we'll be as prepared as always, food, drinks, all sorts of stuff. So excited to see what has tonight, what tonight has in store, but again, just don't have any idea what to expect. And this is our third trade night. <laughs> you heard what she said. That's, that's it, that's the intro. First 25 people in the door today get Father's Day packs. We have a couple of these left, we're gonna give them away. Five, six, seven, 25 people. First 25 in the door. We didn't post this, but first 25 people in the door, we got packs for today. Already waiting. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Dude? What's, up? <laughs> What's up? All right, we're good. It opened a little early. Open? Yep, 25 people. Oh, sick. Thanks, man. Yep. Appreciate it, dude. Yes, sir. Here you go. Free pack. So you can sit anywhere you'd like. Um, pizza will be here soon. There's drinks in the cooler in the front, and there's snacks over there. Cool? You're welcome. All right, so we're about 10 minutes in. A little slow so far, but uh, talk to Reg. She just showed up and she said that it's really, really hard to park. We've had a couple people that are here say the same thing. Uh, we didn't realize that Arts in the Alley started tonight and it's, uh, we found out a little late about that and parking has been a little bit more difficult so people have had to walk a little bit farther than normal. Seems like this is pretty consistent for us though because the last time we ran trade night we had fireworks too and it was a little, little busy here. But when they close down the streets it just makes it a lot more complicated to park and get over here. There's a lot of public parking, but when they shut down half of it for that, it just makes it a little tricky. So hopefully people don't have to walk too far, and uh, hopefully it doesn't discourage anyone from coming tonight. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is all like blue jackets. Okay. Me, like growing up, I collected them all. Really? And then just random stuff. Yeah, we do kids packs. So we'll give out like a team bag full of like 25 cards to kids. So I'll just I'll give them a, I'll put them in those. Cool. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Really do. I'll always look at any. I'll look at anything. It's just real cheap stuff. Okay. Dollar box stuff. Sure. Give me idea what you want for it. Give me idea what you want for it all. Yeah. What do you want for it? Just thinking. Those go like ten a piece. The rest are just like dollars. I was thinking thirty-five, thirty maybe. Look at this guy. This is great. I love this setup. This is all the other stuff from your thing, isn't it? Yeah. My man's got his own corner in here. Smart. Who's who's the ball? Darius Garland. This, that's a hockey jersey. Eric Jersey's Sure. Outrageous, because that's an official jersey too. I love it. This is creative. That's the most creative setup I've seen. Oh, what'd you get? Uh, that's oh, that's sick. As oh my gosh. Holy cow. I figure if you don't like it, you can sell it here. Probably. No, that's freaking awesome. That's yeah. crazy. That's disgusting. <laughs> what do you want for it? No, you can have it. That's really? Yeah. Holy cow, thank yeah. you. No worries, man. Dude, that's crazy. Busy? Yeah. 
been on the road a lot. I saw that. Slowing down a little bit. Uh, what's up, Fishball Sports Cards here. Just uh, done a, a deal with my buddy Cruz. Um, I picked up a Joe Burrow RPA Auto here, number 99. Uh, a couple of Jordan Love die cuts. Picked up a little bit of cash as well. Traded away this to Cruz. Cruz, what's your handle? Uh, cards with Cruz. Lil Jalen Hurts, Kyler Murray, Peyton, can't go wrong. Yep. Appreciate the, you. The Kyler's ball. jersey number and the Hurts is numbered to 199. So just getting the uh, the night kicked off, trade night. Excited here at Park Laser 2. We're supposed to get up early tomorrow and go to Pittsburgh. What's their show? Yeah, there's a show and we're going to film our next uh, collections, card shops, and collectors video. Mm -hmm. Uh, sports Car Junction. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. That's cool, though. That's a cool car, right? Yeah. Yeah. You care if I shut? And you care if I shut? Color match. It looks. I don't think it's awful. I'm not in love with it. Um, a PSA 10 white at a 25 to 220. Last one of these sold about a month ago for like 256. I don't know what these are gonna do. These definitely surprised me. I just don't, like, these are the big unknown. Last one of these did 120 in June raw. So I, don't, I have no idea what a gold's gonna sell for. Yeah, sure. I'm just not in love with Jimmy G stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I would probably want to be at like 12. Okay. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Hey, my name is Ben Hartwick. I'm here at Card Collectors 2 Trade Night. Having a blast. This is my first trade. I'm trading the Donner's 2021 Tyler Boyd one of one okay. die cut. And then what are you trading it for? What's your name? I am Sully. He's trading it for this numbered T. Higgins Obsidian card and then a number to 25 Joe Mixon rookie card. Five hours. My man drove five hours. That's wild. He drove five hours to be here. It's hot. Getting hot in here again. We turn the AC off because the AC basically doesn't work when there's people here, so we open the windows. I mean, you open the windows and it's 84 degrees out. Didn't do a whole lot. Definitely picked up though. A lot more people here. Probably just took 25, 30 minutes to park. If you can't smell it or haven't noticed, the pizza is here. Feel free to help yourself. I'm here for you. Yeah, so just fill this out. I just need one of the contact informations. I have to have your email because we send you an invoice for that. Sure, sure. Total number of cards submitted. If you want them reviewed, select yes. It's $3 a card. Up to you, but it's three bucks a card. Well, no hard feelings either way. Um, and then when you're done, I would put ship back rejects if you want them reviewed. Um, so I would put drop off and shop, but mail back. Okay, and then when uh, do, do you want me to pay for it? You don't pay for it now, you get okay. invoiced. Okay. So if I'm reviewing them, we don't invoice you until we're done with the reviews, because if, if, if I reject it, you're only paying $3 for this, not 29 plus three. Right. So it'll be like, rejects, passed, you'll get billed at 29 on these, three on these, plus three on those. I see. Then I'll invoice you to that email, you have 30 days to pay it. They'll go off before you even pay it. What's up, y'all? My name's David NY.cards on Instagram. We're out here at Trade Night. Lovely event. Shout out Ryan. Shout out the camera crew. First deal of the night. Trading this DAC to my guy. All right, let's picked see up, it. Perfect. Picked up nice Nick Chubb auto. All right. What's your name? Nice. Eric. On IG, E underscore Jonesy. Picked up the deck from my boy for the Nick Chubb Auto. How you doing? Hey, shout out to my man Griffin. Got me hooked up right with this. What are these called? The Spider Mans? My man. Check him out on uh, if you're in Columbus. Heat Archive down on campus. My man's got all the good shoes. Come through, check us out. What's up, Fishball Sports Cards again. We had another deal uh, with my buddy Melton. Uh, Melton, what's your handle? Uh, Melton Collectibles. Melton Collectibles, give him a follow. Just went ahead and picked up a Steph Curry SGC 10. Uh, super, super clean card of Steph. And I moved a uh, really sweet uh, Kobe and some vintage to Melton. Got a second year Hank Aaron at 64 Mickey Mantle. And picked him uh, picked him up self, uh, a little bit of money for dinner tonight. Uh, thank you. Ready? All right, cool, man.
Are these prices what you want? Uh, yeah, but they're negotiable. I hate Justice Hill, but that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Can I show it? Check that patch out. I'm not a big Justice Hill guy. Look at that patch. That's crazy. What a I was patch. excited about him for two days and then he tore his Achilles. Yeah, you're like, he might get some time. Oh my god, he's gonna be the third time. That. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, it would probably want to be. I would probably want to be somewhere around like. I don't really know how bad I want it. 375, four range. I got you. So. I'll put these in because these are my. This one, I'll tell you, can you look up the last car? There was one Genesis car that sold, it wasn't graded. So just look that one up for me real quickly, and then I got prices on everything else. It said 100 bucks. 100 bucks, so, okay. Cool. Um, a little Would you do 125 for that one or no? No, I just think that's what it's going to be worth. All right. This is what I'm asking for these, but there's, I got a lot of room in it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to throw a number out there for you. So you want me to give it to you separately, or you want me to tell you the total amount? Oh, uh, I mean, individually it's fine. I did 700, 650, that's 1350, plus another 75, that's 1425, 400 bucks for the wall. Yeah, we're going to be way off on those. Uh, I'll pass on that at no seven, worries. I won't be close enough. Um, I guess it. Yeah, I'll do, how about 650, 75, 725? We're going to be off on this at 650. How about this? How about I just do both of these for 550? Yeah, I just don't think so. Um, I mean, like I said, I understand the HGA 9.5 is probably cheap at 300, but like most of them sell at like 450, so it's just like, I just, I'm not going to be any, I just don't think it makes sense. Just make that. me an offer, you're not going to upset me, make me an offer on it. You're buying a whole yeah. bunch of stuff for me. Uh, not, just not even, we're not even the same ballpark. 450? Nope. Where, 400? Nope. For both of these? Oh, for both, okay. Yeah, that's 450 for both? No, I'd probably pay four for both. I just like the HGA 9.5 at 300 today scares me. That's fine. That's a, that's a solid grade. So that's paying three and a quarter on that and paying your number on that. So when are we at on that again? Seven? 735. 780, 785. Okay. 85. 785. Yeah, because we added that. And then we, I said 785 plus 400 is 1185. 1185. Would you do 1200 for me on everything? I just don't want those, ba like, I would give you 75 bucks on the Garrett if you want more money, but I don't like 1185 is for sure where I'd want to be. That's fine. Let's do 1185. Okay. Is that cheap? Yeah. I'll buy it off you. I'll give you something for it. I might have interest in these depending on what you want on this stack. Yeah, I would probably pass it. Again, I know it's only a couple bucks. It's just like I really think it's probably too close to 45. I just don't think it leaves me any. Any room on it, so. Um, you cool with 30? I'll give you 35. Yeah, 35. I told you 35 bucks. I'll give you 35. Justin Fields, rated rookie, auto 41 out of 49. And a Justin Fields insert case just sold for 385 on eBay. That's unreal. I, I, he pulled this, I bought it from here. Yeah. In the first pack. Oh, that's crazy. And then in the couple of the last packs. What's this? It's an insert case. It just sold for $385 online. $385? Yep. Holy cow. Yep. Short, yeah, super short print. Not a bad box. No, uh-uh. That's pretty good. Yep, I'm just gonna keep. That's hey, listen, I'm just gonna keep coming here. That's, that's You've I'm had some doing. luck lately. That's what it's all about. But yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. That's crazy. Thanks. Pikachu. Oh. Handing out Pikachu posters. We were just handing out Luka Doncic, trying to get rid of him. Cars with Crews here at trade night. Just ran a deal with my buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Kyler Murray out of 15 RPA. Went ahead and traded him. Couple Herbert patches, little burrow, and 390 cash. So, what's your IG? Uh, Instagram UA underscore collectibles. Trade night's been great. Come to the next one. So we just we just traded. Um, I traded him a Matisse Thibel for uh, Aaron Judge. Straight up, pretty happy with this. So. Right, I'm cool. happy too. Thank you, sir. I got this DeAndre Swift encased auto out of 25. This Herbert Optic and 10 bucks. And what do you get? And I got the PSA 9 Joe Burrow Red, White, and Blue Prism. What's going on, guys? King Pools. Uh, just first night here at a Car Collector 2. 
a crazy crowd, insane crowd. Just did a crazy deal with my good friend Aaron. I met here at Car Collector too. Uh, got some soccer and baseball. Traded a, a Albert Pujols, Pujols uh, out of 50. Messi out of 99. And we he, he uh, hooked me up with a Mason Mount base, which I've been looking for this guy to start my collection. But uh, King Pools, Car Collector 2, not a better night. All right, that's awesome. it. Got the book, Earl. Look for the Lamar out of 100. Davis Otto. And then two clearly. It's my man right there. We're having a good time tonight. It's great. It's great. What's up? It's Adam at Pokey Bird Cards. Uh, just made a trade for uh, Hertz and Charizard for some mixed Pokemon and some cash on top. Cool. What's going on? I'm Justin. I'm at J Casper Cards. Um, brought in a Mega Charizard SGC 10 and a Hertz SGC 10, both graded here at the card shop, and trading up for some some Pokemon and some cash. And I'm happy with the deal. Awesome trade night going to do. Got some deals going and uh, walk away with some new cards to grade and some new cash to spend. So there you go. Perfect. Griffin bought one box, didn't get anything good. Decided to go back and grab the last two Topps Chrome MLS boxes. How about that? Ricardo, Pepe, Auto. Second box. Went back for the second two, and it worked out. Not too bad. This is Alex Patchen. My Instagram is Sports Card Stallion. And I've been collecting these Calvin Johnson exquisite cards since he was a rookie. And there's 99 of them, and I have amassed six of them, including this here, BGS 9. And I also have the gold down here. This is BGS 8, as well as some others. I just traded a 2015, 2015 yeah. Dynasty Mike Trout patch out of the 10, 9 5. And I got back a Nick Chubb Contenders Optic 9 on card auto, a Josh Allen Tricolor 9 out of 199, and a Kyler Field Level 10. All right. And we picked up the trout, super nasty. Appreciate my guy Joe for working with me. And if you guys are in Ohio, and even if you're not, you got to come out. It's busy in there, it's hot, but it's worth it. We're dealing. Instagram, Corleone Cards. Um, night's going great. We made a good trade. Uh, trading the XRC Jalen Hurts and 1100 cash. All right, hey, how you doing? Talk Cards, T A L C dot cards. I'm trading Origins Bro out of 25, XRC Bro, and uh, John Morant Light Blue out of 299. What's up, guys? Malik here, Instagram at M Abed, M A B E D 8261. Just made a deal for this Jude Bellingham, number to 10, PSA 9 Auto, Top Merlin, awesome set. Gave up some stuff, but consolidated to down to this one. And anybody gets a chance to come out to this trade night, make sure you do it. This is my second one out of the three. I'm glad I'm. Matt, I missed the second one. Definitely made some moves over here. Ryan's great. Everybody here is awesome to deal with. What's going on? Uh, Taryn, Tarzan underscore cards. I just made a deal with them here. Traded my Jude Bellingham for the stack over here. I'm very happy with it. Think it's very fair. Um, trade night's been awesome. Everybody's been great. Ryan's put on a great, another great trade night. It's been great meeting everybody. Love it. Come on out. Don't want to miss these. So we're going to box for some uh, some tops finest soccer, lowest number on the right numbered wins, lowest number on the right of the number wins. Uh, little box battle action, got the lower number, got the 75, and Jay just got unlucky with his last pack auto, so I get to take all these home. So a little bit of that more cards for my collection. Appreciate it. All right, my name is Hayden, and uh, my end cut is Let's Rip Cards. And um, these were my top five uh, pickups at trade night. Um, we got this Cleo Mac, uh, Topps Chrome, rookie, PSA 9, um, really cheap slab. We got this Peyton Pritchard Auto, uh, pink, uh, for my personal collection. I got this Luis Robert, um, Topps, PSA 9. Um, this was my first baseball slab. 
um, this Michael Porter Jr. I got in a trade. And then this was the biggest card I picked up, a John Morant PSA 10 Optic Red Rookie. And here were some of the um, other cards that I really did like. Overall, trade night was really fun, and uh, I definitely recommend it. What's going on, guys? JT Triple Crown 24 on Instagram, ITS Triple Crown Top five well four pickups for trade night because i only bought four cards curry lebron early stuff can't go wrong with it a little megatron orange refractor and the big boy brady genesis awesome night again at trade night second time coming to this one always a great time if you're in the area you gotta come by it's awesome i'm good if you're good cool it's all you thank you you're very welcome my man wanted a Burrow rookie. Trade a little Trey Sermon auto for it, so probably throw that out in shop. Buckeye sell well. How's it going, guys? We're here at the tail end of Card Collector 2's trade night, and I did a deal with my buddy Gordon. Gave up a Wander Paper PSA 10, a Chase Green Reactive PSA 10, and a Josh Strong Bowman Chrome Purple 9510. All right, hey, this is Gordon Bacher. I uh, just made a trade with Liam. The uh, Patrick Mahomes from 2018 and a Purple Stars from first off the line, PSA 9, Sam Darnold. Crips $20 bill. Got the deal done. Thanks, man. Thank you. This is what happens when it's been a slow night. We start picking out baseball. <laughs> That's how you know it's been slow. I had the most interest in this. Let me try to some of it out. Yeah, sure, 100%. This stack the 325. Is that 20 bucks? 25 bucks. Um, don't know where I'd want to be at on that, and I don't know where you'd want to be at on it, and there's no comps on this. Do you have any idea on either of these? So, like the Moran 101, the museum collection patch sold for 56, but people don't really like that compared to the Super Factor. Sure. I need a little bit more room. What do you want on these? With the Moran? Yeah. What did I say? $325? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I want to be. Cool. Yeah. That's why I, don't I would say the same thing. I guess it depends on what you want. I also had no facial hair to cover my diet. I like the football the most, but. Like, what's this worth? Uh, or what do you want for it? Yeah, I mean, maybe those, maybe this. I, I would buy any of it. I guess it just depends on what you want. Yeah. Um, depends on how eager you are to sell any of it. Yeah. I, I have interest in that, depending on what you'd want on that. So those are, like, any of those is what I would have interest in. This is the stuff I'd probably pass on. Okay. I might, I, I might hold no. this one until That's cool. he comes back. Right? Yeah. You know, so I, I'm not dying for baseball. What's that? I'm not dying for baseball. Uh, what do you think about like four? Four hundred? Yeah. Sure. I need to buy some. I won't even argue. All right, guys, that's a wrap on trade night number three in shop. Uh, stayed a little bit later this time. It's about 11.15. Uh, attendance was seemed to be... Uh, as consistent as the last couple times it was definitely really busy i think some of the a lot of the crowd showed up a little later because of the arts in the alley thing that kind of slowed uh slowed people down parking and stuff but not as crazy busy for us with pickups definitely picked up a lot more the first couple times did not buy nearly as much as time took some things in trade but um, didn't buy as much but overall just a lot of people coming out a lot of people seem to enjoy it so um I think we got some more footage this time of people like interacting, making deals. I know that was one thing people had asked for before was like, hey, can we see more of the deals? So we try to get more of that. But yeah, another successful trade night. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be back soon with our fourth trade night in shop before too long. That's all I got for now, guys. Peace.